In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to upload results into UltraSignUp. Results can come in the form of many different file types, and it can often be frustrating to try and get results um, into the proper format and to, lo to load them up into uh, the system. Uh, but I'll show you a couple tips that maybe can help us out. First thing you're going to do is go into that results loader link. And that brings us to this page. This is where it's simply asking for a file. And that file needs to be in a format that is pre-specified. The file is best loaded if it's a CSV format. That stands for comma separated values. And um, we have a sample of what that file looks like right here. If you just click it, it'll open up Excel. Um, and it will show you what that file looks like. Now, some people will have Excel on, installed on their machine or another version of Excel, and you'll be able, you'll, you'll see once you click on that file if, and so <clears throat> what, what it will show you is this is the format that we're looking for to load up into UltraSignUp. And you'll see that in that first row, we have the column names across the top. It's important that you use the exact column names that we have specified here. They don't need to necessarily be in the correct order. So for example, place could be at the last column, time could be at the first column. Um, and a couple columns that aren't crucial is the city, state, or status. But if you're not going to include status, then please remove all individuals in the grid that are not finishers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to show you a file that we've received that we need to do some work on. And I'm going to show you a couple tips that you can do to get your, to get your file in the proper format. Um, this file is, even though it's in CSV, um, it's a, it's a little it's a little odd. Um, it's a 50k, and you'll see that the time is a little weird, right? Look at the, for a 50k, this person should not be finishing in 40 minutes. But if you look up at the top here, you'll see that it's actually 3:40:21 a.m. So this is a situation where Excel is trying to interpret the data that was included in that file. And it's not doing um, a good job at interpreting it the way we want it to be interpreted. So we're going to have to do a couple things to get this to, to, to work out. So what we need to do is we need to kind of bypass Excel before it tries to interpret the data for us. And the way we do that is we can go in and we, if I right click on it and open it with a text editor, in my case I'm using TextPad, you'll see that the data actually what it looks like is a bunch of data one line at a time and it's de and it's delimited or separated by commas so that means that this is a spreadsheet but it's being but we're not using excel to view the view the data we're just looking at it in a simple text editor and so what excel's going to do is when you open it up it's going to take this time here and it's going to try and interpret that as a time of day and we don't want it to do that so what we're going to have to do instead of using excel to open this file as a as a csv or an excel spreadsheet we want to save this file as a text file so currently it's set to csv and that's going to automatically kick in Excel intelligent formatter. What we're going to do is we're going to save this file and we're just going to change the last three letters of the file name to TXT. That's just a simple text file. And now that it's in a, a TXT, we can open it from Excel and you'll see that here we go. We've, I've created this TXT file. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to open up Excel and I'm going to pick that file. So let me get Excel running here. And um, what, what we're going to do is we're going to 
open that file from the file open command in Excel and as soon as it recognizes that it's opening a text file it's going to prompt you how it wants how do we want to interpret that data so what we're going to do is we're going to um, look at my find the file that we just saved and it's in there and we're going to change this from all Excel files to all files and there's the file and I'm going to say open and sure enough the text wizard is going to prompt us and say hey so the first thing it's going to do is it's going to ask you what kind of how is this file structured in our case it's delimited meaning and our character is a comma so we're going to leave delimited and I'm going to say my data has headers okay the next uh, screen it's going to say oh what kind of delimiter do you have well we're, we have a comma delimit uh, comma delimiter so you'll see that as soon as I click that it quickly identifies what type of data it is and divides it up splits it out into the appropriate columns and then I can just say next and then the last thing we want to do is because we're having trouble on this time field we want to make sure that it does not change what type of uh, data this is or misinterpret this column so let's change this from general to text general means that Excel is going to try and use its intelligence to figure out what type of data it is instead we, we want to just leave it as is and that's where we would use text and then so once we have that we say finish and sure enough it opens and our file looks really good so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove out those columns we don't want and I'm going to delete that I'm going to delete, I'm going to leave first, last, city, state. Let's go ahead and spell out state because um, uh, we want to make sure that it definitely loads. And this is, should actually be called gender, age, time, place. Okay, the last column we're going to do is we're going to do status. And I'll show you why we're going to do status. Let's put a one for everyone who finishes the race. So I'm going to just copy this all the way down. I'm going to just use page down, holding my control, uh, my shift key, so that I can um, put the values in all the way to the last person here. So everyone has a status of one. That means that they finished the race. And these individuals at the bottom here, it looks like they put DNF in here. We're going to go ahead and delete that. We don't want the system to get confused. Number, uh, putting a 2 in that column for all the DNFs means that those are going to be loaded up as DNFs. And then it looks like they added some sweeps in here at the end. And we don't want to include those in the results. Some of those individuals don't want to see um, their sweep results being loaded into their actual results. So now that we have all of that, um, we're really good. There's no empty uh, uh, rows. You want to make sure that you don't have any empty rows um, as you scroll down the list. And everything looks good. And so now I'm going to save this. And when I save it, it's going to prompt me. It's going to say, are you sure you want to save it in this format? And I don't want to save it as a text file now. Now I want to, um, I want to save it as a CSV file. So let's go ahead and specify where we're going to save it. And I'm going to just, um, I'm going to just call this um, results. And I'm going to save this as a CSV file. So you can go down here and you'll see comma delimited. Okay. And we're just going to call it results. And I'm going to hit save. And it says, do you want to keep it in that format? I say yes. And I'm just going to go ahead and close that. And I don't need to save it because I already did. Now that we have that file um, saved on our, uh, on our, in our computer, we go back to this screen that lets us load up a file and we say choose the file. It's going to ask us what file do we want to load and we're going to load that new file that we just created. I'm going to hit open and I'm going to say upload results. And here it gives me uh, an indication of what the file is going to look like or the data is going to look like and everything looks really good. So let's go ahead and confirm those results. Confirm. And it usually takes a bit of time because what it's doing is it's calculating out everything. It's loading everything up. It's determining the new um, rankings. 
and now it'll show this link here and it'll say that 343 finishers and you'll see that we actually have 328 finishers and if you shrink that you'll see the DNFs appear here. Uh, everything else looks really good.